Islamic Theology in 5 Minutes, presentation number 2, straight from the Qur'an, Everyday Muslim Theology. My name is Fahim Qadi. I begin in the name of Allah, the one who is full of mercy and is extremely merciful. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. We will talk about everyday Muslims theology from a very small chapter of the Quran. We will talk about created versus uncreated, and then a small quiz. So here we go. Straight from the Quran, Theology for Everyday Muslim, Quran chapter 112. It says, Say, He is Allah One. Allah in the Quran is introducing Himself to us. He says, He is Allah, and Allah is the personal name of God. And Allah says, He is one, only one God. Allah is Samad, and Allah is Samad. And Samad in Arabic is defined as someone who is al maqsudu fil hawaij ala dawan. So someone you go to uh, when you have need, you have a need for any of your needs, you go to that person. You always ala dawam, always go to that person. That person is a Samad, and Allah has described Himself as Samad. So we should go to Allah for our, all our needs. Always ask Allah. And then he says, he did not give birth, nor was he born. This is an important theological point summarized beautifully, so simply that a child can understand. Allah does not give birth. Giving birth is an animal act. Human beings and animals and jinn give birth. Allah is not like anything. Remember in the previous presentation, we talked about there's absolutely nothing like Allah. So he does not give birth. That's an animal act. Nor was he born. So if anything born like Jesus cannot be God. And God does not give birth. He does not create. He has never been created. He is uncreated. He has always been there. No matter how far back you go in time. In fact, time does not even apply to uh, God. When we talk about Allah, Time is irrelevant. He's always been there. Never has he been created or come into existence. He's always been there. And no one is equal to him in any way possible. And here's the Arabic. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid. Wa lam yulad. Wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad. Since we're talking about Allah, it's important to understand creation of Allah. All creation, anything created, if you look at anything created, it will have something in common. There are some things all creation have in common. Number one, all creation occupies space. Number two, they are in a place. Makan. Number three, they are always in a direction. They're always in front of you or behind you, right, left, top, down. Number four, they're always stuck in time. They're always in a time. Remember, we talked about this. Allah is not stuck in time. He's not locked in time like we are. And number five, they have certain attributes that we study in physics and chemistry and biology and in science. Color, shape, size, big, small, volume, mass, weight, movement, temperature. Elasticity, brittleness, hardness, softness, physical, chemical properties, etc. These can, all these can only exist in a creative thing. Allah cannot, Allah cannot be described with any of these things, such as color, shape, size, volume, mass, etc. And if any of the above five attributes of created things change, that's another sign, because Allah is fixed. He's the only constant. Allah does not change. Everything changes. We change. Human beings change. Created things change. Everything. In fact, the study of change, right, is we study change in, in science using mathematics. Allah is the only constant. He does not change. فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِذَنْبِكْ 
So know that there's no God except Allah and seek repentance for your sin. That's it. That was our five-minute aqidah, five-minute Islamic theology. Now, <clears throat> a reminder, Laysa shay'un. There's absolutely nothing like Allah. Attributes of created things cannot be God's attributes. Jesus was created, therefore he's not God. Anything created cannot be God. Allah is uncreated God. And here's a quiz. Question one, who is the only uncreated being? Of course, the answer is Allah, the only uncreated being. What are the six attributes of a created thing? They occupy space, they're in a place, they're in a direction, they're stuck in time, and they have physical and chemical properties and attributes that we study in science. And if any of the above five change, for example, the place, something changes its place, it goes from one place to another, or something changes its direction, it goes from one direction, front of uh, north or south, or in front of you, or right, left, top, down, if something is changing in time, or if any of these change, then of course that's a sign that that thing is created, so it's not God. If something occupies space, that's not God, that's creation. If something is in a, t in a place, that's not God, that's creation. If something is in a direction, that's not God and all those attributes. End of presentation number two. In the next presentation, we will look at the 13 amazing attributes of Allah. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashraf al-mursaleen. Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.